Hi, my name is Jay Tarkington. I'm here on behalf of the Heart Research Institute. Today we're going to be using the Ecoscape model to talk about the importance of wetlands and floodplain management. Here we have our typical Enviroscape model of our small town. We've got an ongoing construction site in one corner. Coming down from the construction site, we've got a little residential area there, small apartment complex. We've got a shopping center there with a big driveway. We've got the golf course, various roads and bridges. As we head down towards the downstream, we see our boathouse and our little harbor area. Off to the side of that, we've got our farmland. And then in the other corner over here, we have the industrial part of town. For our first exercise with the watershed model here is we're going to show our typical town with some typical pollutants and what happens after a rainfall with the absence of wetlands and floodplain management. All right, one of our first pollutants is oil and industrial sludge. We'll find this throughout the town through various sources. Our next pollutant is our soil and silt. Next are excess fertilizers used around the home. Of course, we've got to have a lot of fertilizer on our nice green golf course. And we also use a lot of fertilizers in our farmlands. And our last pollutant we're going to be looking at today are our pesticides. Pesticides, of course, used in our residential areas around our apartment complex. Of course, our shopping center and golf course. Our farming areas use quite a few pesticides to control pests and their crops. Also want to make sure we keep the animals healthy. And lastly, of course, around our industrial area here. Not uncommon to use some pesticides to keep everything away there. Here comes the rain. Now let's take a look and see what a sample of that runoff actually looks like. For our next run of the model, we're gonna do it the same way here, only with wetlands in place to see if it has an effect on the amount of pollutants that reach our lake. All right, so what is a wetland?
It can be a lake, it can be a pond, it can be the ditch behind your house, anywhere where water and land meet. So why are wetlands important? They provide us with many functions and values. Our wetlands, first of all, act like giant sponges. They're able to absorb large amounts of water. They can act like filters as well. They can filter this water as it works its way down through the floodplain. Uh, they provide lots of critical habitat. We find lots of different unique birds, reptiles, and amphibians in these areas. And lastly, they're great places for us to hang out in. We love to go to the park, go where we find ponds. We like to look at birds. We like to go kayaking. We like to go fishing. All these are activities we find associated with wetlands. And our wetlands are gonna be represented by these different sponges. All right, we've already got the model already preceded with various pollutants. We've got our oil and sludge, we've got our fertilizer, our pesticide, and our silt and soil. Let the rain begin. Let's take a look at a sample of this runoff. All right. Here's our sample from our first run without the use of wetlands. And here's our sample with the use of wetlands. So as you can see, wetlands provide many benefits for floodplain management. Besides just being cool places to hang out and explore the outdoors, hope you realize that wetlands do quite a bit for our environment.